Physical design is one of the aspect of the database administration from the point of view of managing physical activities or at the operating system level. Those are mapped with the logical design. So one of the major uh, logical design portion or logical design schema is related with the table space, its types and data files. So basically how we can map the physical design from the data files towards the logical design or conceptual layer that is provided in the form of schema. So in this particular module, we will discuss definition and concepts of the table space with the data files, benefits of using multiple table spaces, assigning database quotas to users and types of table spaces. So table space is basically one logical layer within the schema, the top layer on which the user is normally working on. So this particular table space sometimes called sub database or sub portions. So we will explore what exactly come up under the table space. What are the access path available to this table space so that the data comes up from the data files. So an Oracle database consists of one or more logical storage units called table spaces which collectively store all the database data. So it is a logical unit, it is a virtual unit which basically storing the data uh, in the files and files basically giving access and how exactly data is come up, how come out from those files and, and available to the users through the table space. So table space means that it is the enterprise data of the table space, temporary table space, index table space, so there are various other table spaces available. So one database contains more than one table spaces and one table space can contains one or more than one data files. So data files should not be shared, but table spaces are shared under one database. So any data file which is available to one table space, it cannot be available to another table space. So we cannot swap, we can displace those data files and that's the basic limited restrictions on the table space and data file. So can belong, table space can belong to only one database at a time, consists of one or more data files, all further divided into logical units of the story. So there are other logical units we're going to discuss in incoming slides. Can belong, physical means that belong to only one table space and one database are a repository of schema object. So basically defining the table space has certain layers and those layers are or those portions are called extant segments and blocks. So in this particular case, if you look out on the right hand side, we will see data block. So means the minimum storage unit in the database is called data block. So data block is normally consists of 2 KB, 4 KB and so on. So collection of data blocks is called extant and we may have more than one extent. So collection of extent is basically called table space. So if you look at here, one data file is basically has more than one operating system blocks and one data block consists of many operating system blocks. The so collection of blocks is called extent and then collection of extent is called segment. From the segment, we can make the table space. So similarly, in this particular case, if you look at here in this one, we can say that database consists of multiple or many table spaces. One table space consists of more than one data files. And if you look at here, so we have table A comprises of four extents. So extent number one, extent number two, extent number three, and extent number four. So these are the four extents available for this one. And similarly, B consists of two extents, which is basically this one and this one. So these collection of these extents is basically called table space and this is how the things are normally managed and free space is also available. So in this particular case, table spaces come up from the segments. So tables are always coming from the segments. So segments can tell you that it is a table space. So table space is normally come up from the segments and indexes, tables, these are all are the objects coming up from the segments. So this is how the things are normally managed and that's the logically layer how the table space is constructed from the sub portions called data block, segment, and extent and finally we get in the form of table space. So we will discuss more details 
uh, about the data block extended segments later benefits of using multiple table space why are we doing this one what is the catch available for this one separate user data from data dictionary data to reduce the input output contentions means ke aapke paas ek hi monolithic form mein ek space available na ho balki aapke paas segregated logically spaces ho aur unko hum on demand basis pe use kar sake sometimes you have a lot of data you have you are going to use those one from the point of view of uh, keeping the same data from the different places and if something is not available or not used we will ignore that particular portion separate data of one application from data of another to prevent multiple applications store the data files of different table spaces take individual table spaces offline so sometime we can keep those segregations offline online or sometime we can use all of them so it's base is basically available for on demand basis so that we can utilize our service so resources um, better and in the manageable form optimizing table space used by reserving the table space for particular use such as high update activity read only purposes and many other so backup individual table spaces separately backup data in disaggregated form rather than monolithic form and saving the data in a segregated form quickly and easily grant to user who will be creating so basically there will be owner of the table space who created the table space but there are many other user who want to use it so owner will give the access to the user uh, about the elements of the tables elements of the table space for example tables for example indexes for example sequences and many other so that's the basically idea and similarly the quota is very important as well so uh, it is not something that is a free space everybody can use it one user may use whole of the table space by running some kind of uh, loop or something so it will disturb other user so that's why quota is very important and we can give a specific size to each user plsql objects such as packages procedure functions users only need the privileges to create those objects no explicit table space quota is required for such kind of things as well table space there are two major table spaces available one is system table space come up with the database installation created with the database contains the data dictionary and the contains the system and do segments as well on top of this one we have another table space which is called auxiliary table space and we will discuss later on non system table spaces are separate segments it is space administration control amount and their size is available and if you look at on the left hand side we will see that how much space is available how much space is being used user can see that uh, these spaces are how much space left or which table space is filled up so these kind of graph will help the database administrator to see the sizes and how much filled how much those are available to use and even by using sql statement user can figure out also these kind of informations